Okay, uh, Professor Jim Schultz here from the Finance 670 class. Uh, as promised, I wanted to go ahead and go through at least uh, one or two of the uh, the WAC practice problems that I sent you guys, so that you guys maybe have a better handle on how to apply, uh, uh, you know, the, the the few basic concepts that we talked about during our WAC uh, discussion in that brief little introductory video. So I thought there's only three problems here. Um, I thought I would go through number one and number three. Uh, just because I think that those kind of should, you know, they're, they're kind of different problems, and it'll kind of show you a couple different ways that this stuff could be uh, could be presented to you. So let's go ahead and get started. So number one, suppose a company has 30% equity in its capital structure. So the first thing you want to recognize there is this information right here. That is giving you E over V. So E over V is 30%. So if E over V is 30%, that means that D over V must equal 70% because together they must equal 100%. Next, the company just paid a dividend of 220 and these dividends will grow at a constant rate of 4%. The current stock price is 42.88 and the cost of debt is 6%. Tax rate at 35%, what is the whack? Now again, to find the cost of equity for the company, you're going to be solving for the required return on its debt, which is right or I'm sorry, the required return on its equity which is right here. That formula is just rearranging this formula, the constant growth model. So I'm just going to plug into the constant growth model and crank out this required return. To do that, I have to take my D0, my dividend that was just paid, and turn that into a D1 or upcoming dividend. And so obviously you do that by D1 is equal to D0 times 1 plus G. So you get 2.288. Then you have everything you need to plug right into this guy. 2.288 divided by 42.88 plus my G, which is 0 0.04. That gives you a cost of equity of 9.34%. Once you have that in place, you can then plug right into the WAC equation, which is right here, which is exactly like what you saw in the, uh, the, the WAC introduction video. So my E over V is 30%. My cost of equity is 0.0934. My D over V is 70%, my cost of debt is 0 .0, uh, 0 0.06, and my 1 minus T is 0 0.65. I had mistakenly written it in originally at 0 0.35. That is obviously not correct. It is 1 minus 0 0.35, which is 0 0.65. So this first product is 0 0.0280. This second product of these three terms is 0 0.0273, which gives you a total whack of 5.53%. So that's how you crank out number one. Let's scroll down. Number two is kind of found in a similar way. The only comment I want to make about number two is that uh, you have to solve the problem in semi-annual terms. And so then when you get to the end, you have to when you get to the end of finding yield to maturity, you have to multiply by two to get that number in annual terms to be input into the uh, the WAC equation. So number three, this information is presented to you in a slightly different manner. This company has $3 in debt for every $1 in equity. Its cost of equity is 10%. The yield to maturity on its debt is 6.5%. Tax rate at 25%. What is its whack? So the cost of equity and the cost of debt are given to you. This problem is very, very simple. Once you get past this $3 in debt for every $1 in equity. I wanted you guys to be at least you know, exposed to maybe a slightly different way of, of being presented this information, which is more like what you'll see in Finance 680. So if you have $3 in debt and $1 in equity together, that's $4 in firm value, right? So then to find my weights, once I have V in place, it's not that bad, right? It's just D over V. This is going to be my weight of debt in my capital structure. And then E over V is my weight of equity in my capital structure. So then those guys get inserted into the WAC equation in the exact same manner that we used above. So my weight of equity is 25%, my cost of equity is 10%, my weight of debt is 75%, my cost of debt is 6.5%, my 1 minus T is uh, 0.75. So that gives you 0 0.025 plus 0 0.0366, which gives you an overall whack of 6.16%. So again, really brief, really straightforward stuff, but I hope that this video was helpful for you guys in how to solve uh, whack problems.